<laughs> Look what's happening. I was just meditating about that today while I was working. Um, and real estate. Real estate. How, I mean, the industry of builders, uh, companies that own property, real estate people, it's amazing what's going on here. I just, it's, it's just unreal. I never seen darkness like I have seen before. Um, you look at it, the prices of the homes and properties are getting up to a, to a price. I mean, they're getting up to a point that uh, it probably will take four generations to finally pay those mortgage. Because the, uh, I mean, houses that used to be like $100,000, which is the, you know, it could be an affordable, stretchy uh, budget type of price. And now they are like the three or four times the price. So, so a house that 10 years ago cost $100,000 today is like $400,000. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, uh, to me, it, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, the greed has gotten so 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 much into the uh, uh, high class uh, business people, uh, realtors, uh, you know, you name it, builders. It had gotten so so the greed is so show way up up above the sky that a person would not be able to purchase a house and say, I'm going to own this house in in 15 or 20 years, not even that, that, that's a long time, you know. I mean, not to have peace of mind. Now, now it's getting to the point that it's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you, you buy a house, by the time that you make the loan and the interest is so high too, so you are, you are enriching the banks and you are enriching the, the real estate people. So, so it's getting to a point that it's, it's actually impossible, it's a ri ridiculousness to try to buy a property because you know you're never going to own it. I mean, the point is the following. The, 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 the realtors, the banks, the interest, they get rich with us, uh, people that, uh, working people that wants to own a, a, you know, a home, uh, uh, they will be out of uh, stress. Uh, they, you know, they won't be out on the streets and their generation or the kids or whatever. Now, it will probably take like four generations for a person, for a family to pay a home and own it. Isn't this, what kind, of, what kind of stuff? Is this capitalism? What kind of stuff is this? It's absolutely, it's absolutely uh, out of this world. So, so the real estate make it sure that they, they, they get all this money from the people and they still are going to own the, the house they're selling or the property they're selling. Same thing with the banks. You know what I mean? I mean, I went through experiences like this, but, in, you know, in a, tiny, uh, in a tiny amount of money, I was, I was uh, uh, with the hope of buying a home. Uh, I wouldn't be going through troubles like I'm going right now. I'm going to be homeless because... It's not because I don't work, but it's because there's no places to go to, because the rent is also high. I mean, you play, you pay a rent here to a, a room that is probably just gonna take your life, and it's uh, it's like over a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? I mean, in the past you could pay a mortgage with that amount of money. So the advantage that is being taken out to from at you know. Taken about uh, advantage has been taken from people like me that are renters, that are uh, daily working hard people. Uh, is the oppression? This is 